On Elago Local today, we're going to go to a couple barbecue joints that really inspire me. Blood Brothers. They're bringing in all the multicultural aspects of Houston into the barbecue. Fiji's Barbecue. They're not just a barbecue joint, right? They've got wings. They're doing a killer burger. Let's do this. So we're going to talk barbecue today. But when you start to talk Texas barbecue, so that's a lot of salt and black pepper and traditional methods and traditional proteins and traditional sides. Here, we're talking Houston barbecue. These guys have taken and elevated Houston as a culture and put that into their barbecue. When we talk about Houston food, this is Houston food. Let's go in and check it out. Robbie, Quee, Terry, you two are actual brothers. And you are the brother. You guys have been friends forever and family together and you know, like have just kind of built this together. What got you started into this? Terry and I ran a karaoke bar. You were actually one of the first ones to say you should do a steak night. Yeah. And Quee likes to grill, so he started grilling steaks. And uh, from from grilling to smoking, you know, kind of kind of just happened. He's See a cocktail, here. you listen to people <laughs> sing, and it's like, but it smells like a rib. <laughs> well, I was just cooking on a Weber grill too, not even a, a smoker, just a Weber kettle. Cooking? Risk it on a Weber? Yeah, so you could do it. If it's like, too long, you could put like a bowl and lay the brisket on top so it kind of bends it. Nice. So it pushes nice. it up. You yeah. make it work, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, you're doing pop up. It really helped to get the name out there. And not just to get your name out there, but to get your style, right? Because your style is different. When we describe it, we say Houston barbecue. Yeah. Um, you know, we just incorporate flavors that we grew up eating in this awesome city, you know, whether it's you know, Vietnamese, Chinese, Korean, Mediterranean, just everything, Mexican, Caribbean, yeah. Tex-Mex, you know. I know a lot of people, when they see us or whatever, they always, the first thing is Asian barbecue. Asian. We try to be more than that. Yeah, when you can show off your city, right, through food, that's a special thing, right? Because there is a preconceived notion to what Texas barbecue has to be. Right. And I don't think it has to be anything could happen in other cities, but it's a lot easier here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, the people are the people are welcome it more. Is it just having you still got that smoked turkey bun me? Now we have a char siu bun me. Yeah. Saturdays we have a titnung pork belly bun yeah. me. Which is really <laughs> incredible. A do a head cheese bun me. A do who? Do a head cheese bun me. Because yeah. 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 you guys use good meat too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's the 44 guys. Yeah. You know. Them 44 guys. Them 44 since, guys. Since day one. I mean, their meat's so perfect, really. You guys went and looked, looked at all of the little things, right? Where are you getting the product? How are you sourcing it? Where's your beef coming from? Where is this coming from? And then how do I put the technique into it? What do you think about this came from a Weber grill? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we still have that you, grill. YouTube and Weber, Weber grill. grill. Now, yeah. <laughs> this is more just like a smoke box. Yes. Yeah. Uh, smoke box, it is all wood burning. And you just kind of sit it in there and it helps blow yeah. the, the fan around, it blows the smoke and the heat around so you get a consistent temperature, a consistent cook without having to mess with too much yeah. stuff. Beautiful. Yeah. We started with, still have it over I here. I know, the pit maker <laughs> over here. Boy. With our pit maker here, this is what we cooked uh, our pop-ups on. When we first opened the restaurant, we had this and we had an offset. This is what we all started on. Yeah. I mean, every one of us had yeah, a, I think uh, so, yeah. Because uh, yeah. yeah. this, you yeah. still got to be here, you got to yeah. do all this. These, you can put the wood in, think about it later. Yeah, and it gets so the, on these now, for our briskets, we go about six, seven hours, unwrap all wood, and then right before we leave for the day, we spritz, wrap, leave it on to the morning. Thank you, Queen. Thank you, sir. This is a rock star. So this kind of goes into like when see people talk about that Trinity or whatever, that true Texas barbecue, this is where you're at. Yeah. Right, that's, um, you're giving that to them. Despite what some people report, we do not use Chinese five spice on our brisket. This is just traditional. No five spice. No, well, there's five spices, just not Chinese five spice. But not Chinese five <laughs> spice, I like that. Uh, this is our more traditional ribs, uh, just a dry rub. Um, and then here we have our goju jang glazed ribs, and so this is one of the one of the things that's outside the box, kind of. This texture is beautiful. Thank you. Some of our more popular sides here are brisket fried rice, smoked gouda, uh, pepper jack mac and cheese, collard greens, and now for some of our other fun stuff, 
This is our brisket Bernan bao buns. So we take the Bernans, it's tossed in a hoisin barbecue sauce, pickle jicama, cucumbers, green onions. This is our brisket chow fun. Um, this was something that Robbie did for a staff meal one day. And I told him, I was like, I think that would work as a dish. It's not on the menu yet, it might come. So I did a smoked head cheese and then made a bun me with it. I mean, that is, that is, that is technically sound right there, my friend. Cause like, when you start to pull this out, that is beautiful, right? Texturally pleasing. You got the skin in here. You got all these little pieces of meat. Gives it that, <laughs> that nice flavor. I'm gonna have lunch with my niece and nephew. Okay, yeah, for Let sure. Let the real food critics true, tear this true. apart. Yeah. This all looks super good. It looks good, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like what you think of as normal barbecue, but then it's Houston. Yeah, better. All right, what do you want to try? I'm gonna try this. This is my favorite part of the brisket, too. It's good. That's delicious. I think you'll be all right with this smoked gouda mac and cheese. And then I'm gonna put a sandwich in here for you, all right? Yeah, okay. A little Sammy. There you go. Woo, thank you. That's delicious, right? Good. Mm -hmm. I think you guys are gonna like the mac and cheese. I, I tried it. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Good. So I was told that this was life changing. Yeah. So this is a rice noodle. Yeah. Right? And then brisket. And then I love these greens, right? Yeah. Yeah. Here, you guys get into that. Take you a big old bite of the noodles. You're going straight for brisket. I appreciate that too. It's just barbecue is so good. You just can't get enough um, barbecue every day. I know, right? Want a rib? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're here. Yeah. We have ribs in front of us. Yeah. yeah. We have a Korean style rib and a classic style rib. Classic. That's a good looking rib, huh? Mm. I'm gonna go Korean style on this guy. Korean style? It's got a little saucy and little, uh, you know, sesame on it. This is really good. Like it? Yeah. I'm gonna try this head cheese. Not sure. You wanna try it? All right. Get in there, good. That's good. It's good, right? It's kind of jellied and textured and. Look at that. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff going on right there. So you happy you moved back to Houston? Yeah. Yeah. You got Astros here? Yeah, yeah. You got barbecue here? Yeah. Really good barbecue. We only live six minutes from our house. We only live six minutes from your house? Yeah. That's a very clear number. Did you time it? Yeah. Thank you for coming to lunch with me today. <laughs> All right, what do you want to go for? You got to get the 44 Farms brisket. Their size, the smoked Gouda mac and cheese. But then they break off and they do some really cool one-offs. Go to John Glaze pork ribs, the smoked brisket chow fun. Always, 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 you should just get the smoked turkey banh mi. Even if you're just going to take it for later, take it for a friend, take it to a loved one, take a bite of it first and give it away. Blood Brothers, we did it. It's fantastic. About as Houston as you can be. We're going to head over to the other side of town. We're going to go see some of my old friends, Fiji's Barbecue. Let's just go talk barbecue and life with them, all right? Let's go. All right, Fiji's Barbecue. Spring Branch, just north of I-10. Can't think of it more of a smokehouse, right? It is burgers, it's wings, it's rice bowls. There's all sorts of different dishes. Delicious Texas barbecue, but more importantly, it's kind of neighborhood barbecue. Plus, they got a great wine list here. Can't wait for this, all right? Let's go have some brisket, some wings, some of these little fried ribs, Korean braised greens, a bottle of maybe, I don't know, something fantastic, whatever Aaron's gonna pull out. Let's get this done. I can't wait. <laughs> Come on. Patrick Fiji's 
Aaron Smith, Beej's Barbecue. So the three of us have known each other for quite some time. Yes. Yeah, a few years. A few years. About a decade. This is the second location on Long Point. Yep. The first location is in Greenway Plaza. Best barbecue at a food court ever. If someone wants to come for the title, they can come for <laughs> it, but no one else claimed it, so we will. The best food court barbecue <laughs> in Texas. What got you into barbecue? I was in the Army and spent my time in the sandbox and was injured. Patrick is a Purple Heart recipient. At this point of the show, I want to thank Patrick and I want to thank all of our veterans, anybody serving in the armed forces, for taking care of our country. I appreciate you very much. While I was recuperating in San Antonio, a, another guy was medically separating from the Army and he offered me this half rusted out Brinkman smoker because uh, he wasn't taking that back to California with him. When I got out of the Army and kind of played around with it for a while and fell in love with it, and the idea of staying up all night and playing with fire and drinking beer was pretty... It's not a bad thing. You do traditional Texas barbecue in a way, but then you throw in some flavors that when you were in the Army, mm -hmm. in, you, you were in Korea. I was, yeah, stationed in South Korea. Yeah, I mean, Korean food is probably my favorite thing to eat. Uh, and I loved eating it when I was in Korea. It was fantastic. And being on Long Point, Koreatown, right down the street. I mean, we're, what, the most culturally diverse city in the nation. And I think Houston Barbecue made a name for itself by tapping into those cultures. This is a barbecue joint, right? Yeah. But you so much more than that, too, right? Yeah. I wish we called this a smokehouse. Wings. Yeah. Like, Salads. Sa like fried chicken. Sandwiches. You guys are doing, like, it's Burger Day? What, what is Burger it? Friday. Burger it's, Friday? Yeah. So our burgers are a blend of brisket, uh, short rib, and sirloin with fries that are fried in rendered beef fat. Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> They're fried in beef fat. So everyone, every barbecue restaurant trims their, their briskets down. And so instead of throwing them away, what we do is we, we render that down and get a bunch of beef tallow and we do about 50-50 fryer oil and beef tallow in our fryers. All right, so this is one of the things that makes Vija so good. It's not just about barbecue. Full kitchen, too, so that's where they're able to rock out the wings. They're able to rock, look at these potatoes coming up. Chopped pork potatoes, fries fried, and beef tallow. Come on, man. The smash burgers. Hold up. Did somebody just order a baked potato stuffed with smoked chopped pork and a side of fries? Starch it up, baby. Let's go back in the pits. We got turkey breast getting cleaned, ready to go on a the smoker. They got ribs getting ready to go on. Come on over here real quick. Check it out. People say, I don't want to know how the sausage is made. Yeah, you really do. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to open up this basically there's JNR smoker. This is basically this big rotisserie. We've talked about these before. And we're going to open this up. Look at here. It's like a Ferris wheel of awesome. We got briskets. Hold up. We got pork butts coming. And we just keep going with the Ferris wheel. We're going to get to chicken wings. Pretty good, huh? This is like just a happy little workshop. Barbecue is cool. Like, what do you smoke? Brisket, we've got pork ribs. We do three different types of sausage. We do turkey, we do half chickens, we do pulled pork, and we do a whole hog every day. Run through some of the sides for me. Um, hog fat cornbread, elote, Korean braised green, blacksmith buttermilk brisket. The Brussels sprouts are sweet and spicy sprouts, which is like hands down the most popular side we have. And one of the cool things about this spot too I can get wine. I can get killer wines here. Both of you are very classically trained in, in, in French techniques, and you're also a classically trained psalm, right? And so talk to me about the wine program. The whole vision behind wine, behind everything we do here, is the experience. Like, how do you make the barbecue experience better than it already is? And so I really took a lot of time trying to figure out what wines would go well. I worked with a lot of other psalms in Houston, and we picked a menu that's small. Very, very intentional. All right, walk me <laughs> through this heaven that sits in front of me. Okay, so we've got smoked half chicken with Alabama white sauce baked on. 
Uh, I mean, what is Alabama White Sauce? So I tell people the dominant flavors you're going to get, it's, it's mayonnaise base, but we got some horseradish in there and some apple cider. And it's, it's the perfect sauce for poultry, yeah. whether it's chicken it's, or turkey. It's my wife's favorite. Uh, it is so and good. so we've got some of our fried ribs. So we do regular St. Louis style ribs, but then we also fry them and uh, toss them in sauce and throw some breadcrumbs on there. It's like one of my favorite style of ribs. There's the, the infamous uh, Brussels sprouts. Healthy Brussels sprouts. I mean, it's delicious. We've got the money cat potatoes with our gochujang barbecue sauce, inspired by our friend Justin Yu. Yeah. We've got the hog fat cornbread, which is pretty similar to the cornbread that we used to make in Underbelly. We collect the, the hog fat from when we're cooking whole hog, and that's the fat that we use for that. It's fantastic with our delicious. cinnamon honey butter. We've got uh, our brisket right here. You've got our whole hog right here with some uh, crackling chopped in there. And then our three sausages. We've got the hot link, which is uh, more of a traditional East Texas barbecue. The middle ones can be the paprika sausage, okay. which is all pork. And you can definitely tell all beef, all pork. Yep. You know, Fijis is Hungarian. Uh, my great grandparents are from Budapest. Aaron is part Hungarian too. So it's kind of a blend of like a Hungarian style bratwurst. The paprika sausage is more of like a dried sausage for them. So this is kind of our version of a Hungarian Texas barbecue sausage. So I'm all over the board right here, right? What am I drinking? Okay, Because so that's kind of cool. Like, that's the, that's the idea of this, right? No barbecue platter is complete without some wine. I agree uh, with that. So I'm opening the Cleto Chiarli Lambrusco. This is probably my favorite. Um, it's a lighter, drier style of Lambrusco. I think the best pairing is the Cultural Carly Lambrusco with a bite of the fried rib. I've literally been waiting for someone to say, in. eat the fried rib. <laughs> when I say Lambrusco, there are some people that look at me like puzzled, like, really, you're gonna serve me a Lambrusco? And I'm like, yeah, and you're yeah. gonna love it. <laughs> What's the sauce that you toss this in? Ponzu. Ponzu. Same so, sauce as our Brussels. Yeah, so it's Ponzu sauce. I love the breadcrumb texture. I love it. Yeah, that I actually, I mean, our chef created that, so Patrick and I can't even take credit for fried ribs. What is that? <laughs> oh. We also like to support wineries and producers that are supporting their farmers. The Stoltman La Quadria that we have over there, farmers choose the grape blend, they choose the artwork. That's awesome. And um, it goes back, the sales of that wine go back into supporting the farmers. Probably one of the best parts of the brisket right there. Yeah. I own two barbecue restaurants because of that bite right there. Because it's that just, bite. It's just hard to beat when you get that nice, smoky, fatty, heavy bark bite. One of the best bites in the world. That bark, like that to me, the, like, it looks perfect. It feels perfect. Yep. It tastes perfect. That cornbread is amazing. So good. I wonder who taught me how to make that. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is a riff on the cornbread we did at Underbelly. So good. I love this, your whole hog. Our hog is, it's, our hogs are born and raised in Texas. And just like with the wine, like, to find local producers to raise their hogs. And so I can, we can support the local guys. But if, if people can embrace this, then we'll have more hog farmers. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Because that's delicious. And we, we have a whole hog dish where that is served on top of the cornbread with our charred coleslaw. That's really good. I like everything you just said. This is summertime, wintertime, lunchtime, dinnertime. I'm a firm believer that the chicken wing should be its own food group. We're going to talk about that up next. Think about peanut butter and jelly. Ever thought of it on a wing? You should now. Back at Hay Merchant. Mm -hmm. I already know where this is going. You uh, put some chicken wings on the menu. <laughs> and we started smoking them, and you came up with a few like sauces. Uh -huh. And I will credit every ounce of the greatest chicken wings in this city to you. Those wings, to me, hold a special place in my heart, and they always will, as being the greatest wing I've ever eaten. I, that is a huge honor. 
coming from you. I remember with like absolute clarity when I was telling you what my idea was. Yeah. And you were like, what? you were trying to be really polite about it, but you were like, <laughs> That seems like it's gonna be very unusual. Like, now I'm willing to try anything. I could tell in your voice, you were like, I'm gonna try them for her, yeah. and then we will move on from this and never talk about peanut butter and jelly wings again. <laughs> it shouldn't work, but it does. It, and it's so simple, because it's like three ingredients. Yeah. It's all about ratio. All right, let's look at this thing. And this was something that you put in front of me or told me you were gonna do. I mean, yeah, let's try it. <laughs> like, Almost because, exactly like that. Yeah, because you're like, okay, so it's peanut butter, grape jelly, and sriracha. All right. All three I love separately. The grape jelly threw me, seasoned first, smoked, dropped in a beef fat filled fryer, and then tossed in peanut butter, jelly, sriracha. Mix. But it's sweet, it's spicy, it's peanutty. It's like if you had a killer peanut sauce at a Thai spot, like it does everything that you want. I mean, I just. I mean, that's the your wing is like. I just stupid. Cheers. Yeah. All right, what do you want to go for at Fiji's? I'm just going to say go ahead and go down the barbecue gamut. Get you some brisket, get a little turkey, get a hot link. If it says plate ribs, get you a big old beef plate rib. Chicken wings are a must. Some of my favorite wings in the city. And then the hog fat cornbread. So where else should you go get some good barbecue? If you're out in Katy or just head that way, go out to Brett's Barbecue, get some of those pork belly burn-ins. And down on Voss and Westheimer, go to Regal's. Everything is delicious, but on Thursday, they do the Reuben pastrami, and anytime you say Reuben, I'm in. Head up 290, brisket and rice, kind of new on the scene, but you're talking about beautiful brisket and delicious rice. I call that perfect. I got my barbecue, wings, brisket, sides to go. I got the family dinner covered. You know what? It's a good day today, all right? Let's go find out what's next. I think Pat would look good in white pants. It's, a look, it's like Miami Vice over I don't there. need white pants. No, I'm yeah, you do. Dirty no, you do need white pants. I'm going to buy it for you. Where's he, where's he going? Just, just pull back and pull back in. Yeah, no, that's oh. all we asked. Yeah, we got full of this. Boy, what a good uncle I am, huh? Yeah. Nailing it.